So in Java, you've got a J option pane and you want to display a polyworld dabbing. But there's one problem. It's not big enough. You want more people to be able to see the dab. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can resize this image while maintaining the aspect ratio. Let's get into it. I'm going to be storing my PNG file in my Java project. And if you're in NetBeans, you can right click on your project, go to properties, and this is the file path of where your Java project is. I have got my image in the root folder of the project. So it's in the same folder that the SRC folder is, the build folder is, and so on. You can put the image wherever you want, just make sure you get your file paths correct. Now. Before we do any code, we need to import these three Java libraries here. We'll be needing them because they contain image, image icon and J-option pane stuff for, th for this tutorial. And in our main method, we're only going to do display scaled image, the file path of your image, and a scale factor. This tutorial, we will only be working with integers. If we want to do floating point or decimal numbers, we need to do a bit more. So that's going to be a separate video. But have to write this line of code here because we're going to be making this function in a second. So let's do private void display scaled image string image path and int scale factor. So we're not going to be returning a value because it's void. Display scaled image is going to be the name, string image path and int scale factor. This is going to be the file path of the image you want to display and scale factor is how much do we want to scale it by? And by doing this, we can maintain the aspect ratio while resizing it without having to specify two sizes and figure out for ourselves how we keep the same aspect ratio. So we're going to do three lines of code inside this to start with. We're going to do image icon, original icon equals new image icon, image path. So we're going to make an image icon object and it's going to have the image that's at our image path. And then what we can do is we can do int original width equals original icon dot get icon width. Int original height equals original icon dot get icon height. So what we're doing is we're creating an icon object. And then with that icon object, we can get the original width and the original height of this image. So let's say we have a 400 by 400 image. Both of these variables will store the value of 400. If we had a 100 by 200 image, width would be 100 and height would be 200. And we need to get the original size so we know how much to scale our image by when we apply the scale factor. Then we're going to do int new width equals original width times scale factor. Int new height equals original height times scale factor. What are we doing here? Well, basically, we're going to be calculating the new size of our image. So we need a new width and a new height. And if we want to maintain the same aspect ratio, we just multiply the width by the scale factor and the height by the scale factor. And these will give us the new dimensions of this image when it's resized and it's maintained the same aspect ratio. Then we need to do image scaled image equals original icon dot get image dot get scaled instance, new width, new height, image dot scaled smooth. I've got this on multiple lines to make it easier to read, but you can put it all on the same line if you want to. Basically, we created a new image object called scaled image. It will store the scaled version of our original image. So we need to get the image from the icon and then we can do dot get scaled instance, which is going to resize this image. We pass in the new width, the new height and a type of scaling. I'm going to do scale.smooth. You can play around with the other types of scaling you, you can do if you want to, but this generally gives you the best quality. There are some instances where you don't want that, like when you're doing pixel art and you want to do nearest neighbor. But we're going to stick with scale smooth for now. After that, we're then going to do image icon scaled icon equals new image icon scaled image. So we're creating a new image icon to give to our J option pane. This is going to be the scaled image and we pass in our scaled image object here, which is our image that we had originally, but bigger. Then we're going to do J option pane dot show message dialog null no message. The header will be scaled image. Then we'll pass in jopshopane.information message. And then we pass in the scaled icon. So this is us just displaying our image like we have in previous tutorials. I up in the corner if you'll want to watch more on just how you display an image as opposed to resizing an image with a scale factor. But that is everything for this tutorial. So save your work. 
uh, for the display image, we're going to put in a scale factor of 2. Look how big our dab is! I will say this is a low quality image as it's a snippet from the Pokemon anime of Poliwhirl dabbing. If we have a higher resolution image, it's not going to look this blurry. Let's put in a scale factor of 3. That is one big dab. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching!